So, Chhat Puja celebration has started from today and will continue till November 8th. Now, the Delhi government has declared November 7th as a public holiday on the occasion of Chhat Puja. In fact, Delhi Chief Minister Atishi on Monday reviewed the preparations for Chhat Puja at ITO Ghat and said that at more than 1,000 Chhat Ghats are being prepared. Arvind Kejriwal ji ki Amadni Party ki sarkar bani hai. Tab se jo samman chhat ke tiyohar ko diya gaya hai, shayad isse pahle kabhi nahi diya gaya tha. 2014 tak puri Delhi mein maathr 60 jagah chhat ki puja hoti thi, jo sarkari taur pe aayojit hoti thi. Lekin mujhe khushi hai is baat ki, ke aaj hazaar se zada locations par Delhi sarkar dwara Arvind Kejriwal ji ke maag darshan mein ऐसे शानदार छठ घाट बनाए जा रहे हैं और आज मैं यहां पे आई हूं आईटीओ पर हाथी घाट पर जो मुझे लगता है कि एक बहुत महत्वपूर्ण छठ घाटों में से एक है तो पूरा इंतजाम बढ़िया चल रहा है और इसी तरह हमारे सारे विधायक हमारे सारे मंत्री लगातार सभी छठ घाट का इंस्पेक्शन कर रहे हैं Meanwhile, a thick layer of toxic foam covered the river Yamuna in Delhi's Kalindikunj area ahead of Chhat Puja, raising a lot of concerns. The foam prompted authorities to spray chemical deformers to address this issue. Every year when the third season arrives in the national capital, the debate, the discussions of the devotees coming in and taking a dip in the toxic water of Yamuna always takes up the surface. This year, we are currently present at the ITO Chhat Ghat, where you will see a much cleaner water has been pumped into the channel near the ITO Yamuna Ghat. Now, this will be the Ghat which will host the Chhat devotees on 7th, 8th and 9th of November, where the people will take a dip, where the devotees would take a dip. However, when you talk about the Chhat Ghat, the first visual that comes to your mind is something which is next to the river. Now, this particular channel is artificially constructed and the water here are pumped from through the municipality water but the actual water which is which the Yamuna speaks volume of is on the opposite side is completely on the opposite side I would urge my camera person to also show they just 10 meters apart from this small bank is the actual water of Yamuna is the actual Yamuna bank where you will see a contrasting reality when it comes to the quality of water here the water is not transparent the water is black here you will see these garbages floating over the entire patch of Yamuna through different parts. These are the garbages which are thrown, which are even, you know, dissociated and in this Yamuna through various chemical industries, sewage treatment plants and many are thrown by the devotees as well. The smell here is just of rotten eggs, like a pile of garbage you are standing here. Even the chief minister Atishi came and, came and you know, take the the quality check, check the quality of the particular Yamuna Ghat. However, one thing was common, she only came to that particular point. The chief minister did not visit this part. Chief minister did not say anything about this particular quality of the actual Yamuna, where she once, on one hand, she was emphasizing on the part that how Chhat is very important to the devotees of Purvanchal, people from Bihar as well. She did not speak a single word on the actual quality. And my colleague uh, Nikhil continues to stay with us. Nikhil, what is being done by the Delhi government as far as the toxic froth on the Yamuna River is concerned that plays a crucial role in the Chhat Puja celebrations? Well, as the announcements have been made by Atishi herself, uh, who is the Chief Minister, that uh, close to 1,000 Chhat Ghats are being prepared across the parts of the capital city. Remember, starting from today, the Chhat is going to be celebrated across many parts of the country, including that of the capital city. And a significant population of the Purvancholis reside here in the city. This is the reason as to why the Chhat Ghats are especially prepared for uh, these people. And uh, also, there is a debate about the toxic form as well, which has been mentioned by Shivam Sharma in his report. Uh, as far as the measures are concerned, the, uh, the deformer uh, of the toxic foam is something which has been used and it was uh, something which was used in the previous years as well. So what we can say is that, that these are the temporary uh, measures which have been taken in by the government, by the administration, by those people who are in charge of the entire preparation. So uh, this is something which is going to take place in uh, different ghats which are being prepared, not just for the Kalindi Kun side or uh, uh, one Chhat Ghat 
uh, area, but this is uh, the deformer activity is something which is going to be seen across many part of the city where the uh, ghats have been especially prepared and there are many of the patches where the uh, foam is usually seen, particularly uh, it is being reported from the side of the Kalikunj area, but this is the only solution that the government has so far, although we have seen that the politics as well which has been exchanged uh, between the Amadmi Party led Delhi government with that of the principal opposition Bharti Janta Party, but still there is no change which is being seen on the ground zero, but this is the uh, makeshift arrangement, so to say, actually, which is being reported every year. And this time around, uh, the similar situation is being reported. If you remember uh, last time when the Delhi Assembly elections took place in the year 2020, that time a major announcement uh, came from the side of the then uh, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal that next time, by the year 2025, 2024, uh, they are going to entirely clean the river Yamuna. But see, this is how the situation is all like, only the false promise promises and the toll claims have been made, but nothing actually has been changed on the ground zero and it is only the politics which continues to take place and uh, in this entire dirty water, the devotees are the one, especially from the Purvanchalis who are the ones, uh, they are going to be forced to take a dip into the polluted water and they do not have any of the alternative from the side of the Delhi government. Back to you. Right. Nikhil, thank you so much for getting us all those details. We'll keep coming back to you for more updates on the story. As of now, we're shifting focus.